All right, folks, we are back. This is Kashim. There's Dwayne there. And there's Dwayne there. Dwayne is fighting. Dwayne is in the match. And here we go. Dwayne versus Bossa Roku. Dwayne just jumps on her and does his just cool dance move and beats her in one shot. So here he goes. He's dancing around. Bossa Roku trying to fight him. Bossa Roku powerful, but just not enough for the spinning Dwayne. Spinning Dwayne is too much, and there is the the cha cha punch. One, two, and three wins. That's right, Dwayne, you've won. <laughs> Absolutely and completely and utterly ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As I said last video, just one example of the fights that you will come across in Salty Bat. It's just like. Dwayne is overpowered because he's the mascot right now. <laughs> Super OP Dwayne. Okay, next fight, we've got Bark. No clue what he is from, but we've got some uh, Dark Psylocke going on here. Psylocke. Funny story, my favorite character from the X-Men. Her story is completely convoluted and horrible and silly. And she's got so many different things to talk about. Just her backstory is just so strange. Her origin story is awful. But she's such a cool, diverse character. I love the psychic attacks, the knives that she can make. I love the fact that she's the Japanese ninja. And she's just really cool looking. I love the purple outfit. She's a gorgeous chick. But let's see how this fight goes. Dark Psylocke bringing it in. Starting it out with a punch on Bark, but Bark following up with a backbreaker over his knee. Trying for the drop kick. Dark Psylocke feeling some pain here, jumping herself and putting herself into the corner for Bark so that Bark can just lay the pain on her. Not doing much damage with her attacks, but there's a super. Still not doing much damage with the super. Seems that Dark Psylocke is just not that great of a character. Laying on the ground in defeat, she is just done, and here comes the second round. So you could say that uh, Bark's bite is better than his bark. <laughs> He's not just all bark. Okay, Dark Psylocke doing some damage here. And we've got the, uh, the typical... Uh, <laughs> Old school American family in the background here. The settlers or something going on in the back. I don't know what's going on. It's a carriage. I guess it's the White House, huh? I guess it's uh, the president watching the fight. A couple hundred years ago. And there's Dark Psylocke showing that uh, firm backside to Bark after beating his butt. Flip kicks and just, boy, Dark Psylocke just stepping it up. Here come the... Either the butterflies or the bats or whatever those psychic uh, creatures are that she summons to, with her super to beat on him. But man, she's dealt more than half his damage already. Jumping around now, avoiding his attacks. But there's that backbreaker we saw in the first match. But Dark Psylocke just not caring. Just rolling around, flip kicking, punching, doing all kinds of things. More kicks to the face. There's a psychic blast. Some teleportation maneuvers now going on. There's that knife. And that's the Obama. Thanks, Obama. Time has run out. Giving Dark Sal like another win. So here we go. But Bark coming back with a super and just completely draining Psylocke's HP with that one attack. Dark Psylocke hard pressed to come back from that, and there she goes. She's lost, making this a two and two round. We're going to go into sudden death here, folks. Five matches. Who will win, Bark or Dark Psylocke? Bark or Dark? My money on Psylocke. Come on, Psylocke, you got to come back from this girl. You're my favorite X Men. You and Cyclops. You, Cyclops, and Gambit. My three favorite Marvel characters. Oh, the backbreaker again. This not boding well for her. 
Psylocke, come on, where are those attacks that we saw? Where are those OP attacks that we saw earlier in the fight? Twelve seconds left, not much damage being dealt. Dark Psylocke needing to deal some damage here before this fight is over. Three seconds left, two, one. Dark Psylocke not able to pull it off, and Bark wins. How disappointing. How super, super disappointing, folks. Ah, Such a close match. But them's the Briggs. You gotta deal damage before that time runs out. Got that smooth jazz going on in the background for F Zero arranged the Sand Ocean. Oh boy, our next match featuring another X Man Beast versus Neko Arc Chaos. Neko is a slightly powerful character. Beast also very strong character. I'm gonna have to put my money on. Oh boy, I have not seen this particular Neko character before, so I'm going to have to say Beast, because Beast has some pretty super overpowered super attacks. If he can manage to pull those off, he can do lots and lots and lots of damage. So uh, let's see if he can win during this uh, Japanese festival that's going on here in the background for this particular map. Who will win? Beast from the X-Men sitting on a pile of books... Always a philosopher. Philosopher and a gentleman, our beast. Okay. Neko. Taking on Beast. Doing some damage to Beast early on. Beast jumping around. Very powerful. Like I said, he's super fast. There's one of his supers. That's his weakest super. Doing those punches, which he, of course, misses for the most part due to the Neko's just absolutely horrible hitbox. He's such a small character. There it is again. Missing once more with that super. Beast, you need to use a different super. Trying something else there, it looked like, but it looked like it got countered by Neko. This fight, very close. Beast dealing damage to Neko. There's the blaster missing. Neck and neck. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nope, he beats her. He beats her right before the two-second mark. Good job, Beast. There's that, there's that super again, missing. Beast need to learn to use, need to learn to use the new Superman. Superman. Oh, there it is. There it is. It connects this time. There's the laser. The laser super from Beast doing some damage to Neko Arc. And there is the win with the spin attack, the leap and the spin. Beast has won his second match. Round 3 coming in. Beast flying in towards Neko, jumping around. Trying to hit that hitbox. Neko using some kind of a poison breath attack. There's another laser attack. Using a jetpack flying maneuver, but not doing much for her. Beast taking some damage this time. Neko fighting back. Beast also doing some damage now. Jumping around, kicking, pouncing. Beast almost dying. Neko almost dying. It's close, but there goes the super. Getting missed. Beast missing that super, just totally leaving him wide open to Neko's attack, and Neko takes her first round. Beast mounting his laser cannon, missing, and Neko taking advantage of it once more because of her retarded hitbox. Dealing super amounts of damage to Beast. Beast trying to use the super to no effect. Jumping around, trying to stay away from Neko as much as possible. Finally dealing some damage. Beast, can he clutch? There's the laser missing. Neko Arc has a healing maneuver. She can heal some. She's healed some damage. Missing with the laser. Jumping around, doing a little bit more damage. Beast laying some explosive mines on the ground. Dealing damage. Neck and neck. Beast takes it. Clutch. Clutch! Hold oh, clutch! Hold oh, the clutch! Oh. Beast taking the round after three! Good job, my buddy! And with that win, this will take us out. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. We will see you again next time. This is Kashim. See you later. Bye bye.